In this video, we're going to cover how to add an Alibi Vigilant IP camera to an Alibi Witness in VR. The process of adding an Alibi Vigilant IP camera to an Alibi Witness unit is fairly simple. We're going to start by connecting the camera to a PoE switch. Then, we'll configure the camera's IP address. At that moment, we'll configure the NVR to accept the camera and then plug the camera into the NVR. If you have received a camera or cameras that have been pre-configured by our Pro Services Department, the IP address and password will be printed on a label on the outside of the camera box. Since these cameras have been pre-configured, you can skip to steps 3 and 4 in this video to add the cameras to a witness in VR. The first thing you want to do is take the Vigilant IP camera and connect it to a PoE switch. You also want to make sure that your PC or laptop is connected to that same PoE switch. Once you have those connected, you want to open the Alibi Vigilant Toolbox on your computer. If you need to download the Alibi Vigilant Toolbox, you can find the link in the description below. Once the toolbox is open, you will notice that it does discover the camera on the network. Given that the Alibi Witness NVR camera network uses the 192.168.254.1 gateway, we want to make sure that these Vigilant cameras are on that same subnet. The recommended range for the Vigilant IP cameras is going to be 192.168.254.30 and up. If you have more than one camera, you will address the first camera .30, the next camera .31, the next camera .32 and so forth. Now that the camera has been discovered by the Alibi Vigilant Toolbox, we want to go ahead and put a check mark on the left hand side and we want to go to Modify IP. This is where we're going to put the 192.168.254.30 address, so we'll go ahead and do that now. Now do you notice the gateway automatically changed on its own? The Alibi Vigilant cameras come with a password of 123456 from the factory. So this is already defaulted in the Alibi Vigilant toolbox. If your camera has a different password, you want to make sure to double click in this field and type in the current password of the camera. Once you're done making those changes, you want to hit OK. And then you want to go to the close option and you'll see the operation status modification succeeded and this camera has been switched over to 192.168.254.30 On the Alibi Witness in VR, you want to access the camera IP configuration menu. Depending on the firmware version of your NVR, this may be either under the camera menu or the configuration menu. Once you have the IP camera menu pulled up, you want to select the channel that you want the Alibi Vigilant camera to be plugged into. In this case, we're going to choose channel 1. Then you want to locate the edit button, which is typically indicated with a pencil. Under the edit IP camera option, we want to change the adding method to manual. For channel address, we want to put the IP address of the Vigilant camera, which is 192.168.254.30. Protocol is going to be ONVIF, management port will be 80, channel port is going to be 1, transfer protocol is auto, username is admin, all lowercase, and the default password for the Alibi Vigilant cameras is, yet again, 123456. Once you put that information in, you want to go ahead and hit the OK option. Give the recorder a second to refresh itself. At this point, you want to go ahead and unplug the camera from the PoE switch and plug it into port number 1 on the Alibi Witness MVR. Once the camera powers up, it will display an image on the Alibi Witness MVR and show the online status under the camera IP menu. If you run into any issues or have further questions, please contact our support team. Also, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for future video updates.